Hey, how's it going? Bunger! Yeah!
Hi! I gotta admit, it's nice having Wamby around again. We'll just have to wait and see if he really learned his lesson. Oh, sure! Sounds like a real hoot. Oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic, just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock, but this island's chock full of finds. Oh goodness, my name! I'm Triffany Lottablog. I heard about the trip to Snack Tooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or I could really get out there. Try following in Grandma's footsteps. You might have heard of Bronica, Lottablog. An adventuring type just like Lisbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history. Bless her heart. Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of bug snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the 
bug snacks. They always stay. They are walking records of history. It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Bramble's throat. No, no, nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Lovely gal, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabelle. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so. But the Lotta Blog method can be unconventional. Bug the heck out of Agabelle. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lisbert wound up. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. Speaking of mysteries... You betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with it. Anywho, I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? I gotta admit, it's nice having Wamby around again. We'll just have to wait and see if he really learned his lesson. Talk to you later. I gotta admit. Bye bye.
Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. How's it going? <laughs> hey, Wambus. It's all going well.
look fabulous. The colors are striking, no? And now the ideas will flow. Mm-hmm, they're going to flow. Ooh, any second now. Come on now. Uh, I assure you. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need. Which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops, a look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted if you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two pop ticks. Feed me that pop tick, darling. Ah, Grambler. Such soulful eyes. Such a caring heart. Such a collection of snacks. Pop tick. Mmm. Pop tick. Ow. Ridiculous. And I don't have a single new tune in my head. What a woeful journey I've taken. <sighs> Darling, I apologize for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art. And art is priceless. I can see that this simply isn't working, and I believe I know why. Oh, not nearly enough, but Though it pains me to return without a new single, I shall face the music and greet my adoring fans. Aloha, darling.
Scramble, dear. Are you free for a little stargazing tonight? Uh, sorry. I can't. I gotta watch my little ones. <sighs> of course you do. Come on, Gramble. Surely you can take a night off. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Anymore? Maybe. But even still, my kin might wander off if I'm not here. Oh, it's only natural, dear. I'm sure they long to return to the wild. Uh, don't say that. This is their home. They, they love it here. They just get lost sometimes is all. Ugh, whatever you say, darling. Let me know if you're ever free. You have no idea how hard it is for me to write these songs. My lyrical genius is driven by my muse. An adorable muse with skittering legs and a juicy center. I am no stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. Buddy, I wish I could be like Lizbert. She always knew what to do, what to say. When she made a plan, I knew I could just follow it and I'd be okay. But now it's just up to me. Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Ah, oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beat sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No. Not as such. It's more the bodies would just... disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill.
Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use a little Grumpus room. Now hold on. You saying Grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats Grumpus. Ah, no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Uh, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me snackless. Ah! Oh, Grump. Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? <laughs> Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked, and I came here to calm down. Huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. Sorry about that. What I miss? Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. <laughs> it's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bug Snacks have a monarchy? Oh, Wambus, it's just a title. I've seen Bug Snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is out there and it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. 
Crumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us, yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us, oh. We, we, no need to freak out. It's probably just, a uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wimbus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Bilbo first. <laughs> I think that sound came from the mill. Maybe there's a trail we can follow? sound came from the mill. Maybe there's a trail we can follow? Chandlo? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah? Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no. Nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. D don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want you to stay! Oh, darn it. Oh well, let's get back and tell the others. Folks, I'm fine. <laughs> um, oh, and the, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know. The Desert Grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. How's it going? Hey, Triffany, what's going on? Doing good? Every time I go home, all my stuff is moved around, and there are new paw prints on the floor. I'm starting to think maybe ghosts are real. Find the other Grumpuses, find out what they know, and convince them to come back to town. Till next time! I'm no stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. You've certainly heard my number one single, Do the Wiggle. You see, Wiggle Wigglebottom needs no introduction, darling. Well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience, to get my creative juices flowing, as it were. No, no 
it can stay on top forever. And I'm afraid the audience didn't care for Wiggles World or Wiggle Baby one more time, and I've been accused of being a one-hit Wiggle. Every taste is like a star going supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. Bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. I believe something exists to keep us from them. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. That simple. I was following Gramble. He certainly knows his way around snacks. No! Goodness, no! I love Gramble. I would never. He's far too sweet, like a little strabby. No, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Ah, oh, Lisbert! She and Egabel were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. But if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Not nearly as often as I'd like. <gasps> that night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying, towering over the trees. The queen of bug snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. Well, I can't be sure. All I saw was a menacing silhouette. But if Liz crossed paths with that, that thing, then I fear for her. Ah, I feel the warm glow of free publicity. <laughs> I know my story about the Queen sounds far-fetched, but I swear on my platinum record it's true. If you don't believe me, go and see for yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make. If you're not busy, darling, I could use a helping paw. It seems like you're... Run-of-the-mill bug snacks aren't getting my creative juices flowing. I need something, oh, spectacular. I overheard Wambus talking about a sandopede, a snack made of many pieces working in harmony. That may be just what I need. <laughs> oh, hold on, darling. Tell me what you think of this. The queen of bug snacks. She's really big. She's really big. And she'll eat you. Catch you on the flip side.
Hey, buddy. Later. Hello, Tiffany. Oh, no, not again. Hey, um, could you help me with something? See, I've got a bad habit of walking around in my sleep, and uh, it looks like I've been eating in my sleep too. So if you see me sleepwalking, be sure to wake me up, okay? Sometimes I wake up at night and I see something out there, like a shadow watching me from the tree line. I try calling out to it, but it disappears before I get a good look at it. Bye now. Wimbone. Howdy. Wimbus, hey, how you doing? Oh, my God. 
Take care. Is all going well? Nothing yet. Think something might be wrong with the soil. Too dry or maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snack, like a spuddy? I got a plan. Why don't you fetch How's it going? Tiffany, hello. Hey, how's it going?
Howdy. Hey, Wiggle. Hi. Oh, Bestie! I was just looking for you. Now that Wiggle's back, Snacksburg is finally interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But, like, everybody here gets all quiet when I'm around. But they trust you, right, Bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return. Bramble's so touchy because he never sleeps. Seriously, he just walks around at night like a creepy zombie. So here's what I'm thinking. And maybe I'll... On, Charlie. Just follow Papa's pointer. Or, or don't. That's fine too. We're off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout. I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he could show Charlie the ropes. What do you say? Sprout to lead Charwe back to my barn.
Charlie's a good boy, yes he is. Well, it's a start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out we love you, Papa. Why, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me. But that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. Sometimes I wake up at night, I try calling. Bye now. Nice night out. Another fine day behind us. Here's to a hard day's work. Nasty habit. Ah, I feel bad for Gramble. Those two just aren't gonna last. In my old life, I would have killed to get dirt on Wiggle Wiggle Bottom. Ah, I used to take pictures for GMZ, you know, and whoever else might be buying. Oh, right. I almost forgot about that. It's easy to get caught up in nostalgia. Have you found any snack pods yet? They're the best snack ever because they don't even move. But they're a little hard to find if you aren't observant like me. There might be some hiding by my old cave. And I know a certain Grumpus who might want some. Any 
any snack pods yet? They're the best snack ever because they don't even... There might be some... Snack. Huh. Can't say I miss that cave, but I do miss these. Thanks, bestie. Gramble's so touchy, cause he never... Okay, bye.
Snorpy? Snorpy! Bro, Snorpy, get out here! I'm sorry, Chandler, I'm not coming outside. I'm this close to finishing my next invention. Return to your lifting in peace. Snorpy, we talked about this, bro. You gotta go outside at least one hour a day. Gotta get some fresh air, dog. Yes, what I'll get is the attention of the Grumpinati. Who? There's nobody out here but us, bro. Better to work in the shadows when I cannot be seen. Also, it's cold out there. Bro, if you're not coming outside, I'm bringing the outside to you. No, what? You cannot lift my entire house! Oh, yes, I can! I'ma lift your crib, dog! Do not lift my crib, Chandlo! I have delicate instruments in here and. Lift in your crib, dog! There, I'm out in the fresh air. And I can smell the chemtrails. <sighs> That's right, bro. One step at a time. Whoa, it's you again. How's that sweet mountain air treating you, bro? It's easy to stay swole in paradise. Easy for me, anyway. I'm Chandlo Funk Bun. With wisdom and lifting, <laughs> I got the full package, you feel me? Snorpy's my tightest bro, you feel me? We've been together since before this whole adventure thing. Nah, I'm good. I mean, I like being in town, but it gives Snorpy mad anxiety. Why don't you talk to him? He's not good with strangers, so tell him I sent you. <laughs> Oh, he did, did he? My poor sweet Chandler has always been too trusting. What is your business with me? Hmm. I'm not disinterested, but you're still a suspicious individual. I propose a test. Here, take my newest invention, the Snack Grappler. I built it so that I could help Chandler with his basketballing problem. But I forgot that meant going outside, so you do it, and then maybe we'll talk. Help Chandlo, then maybe...
Thanks, dog. I knew he'd warm up to you. All right, follow me. Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. Problem is, I lost my balls. They're stuck all over the place. I'm sure I could get them down without your help, but Snorpy made that grapple thing for me and I want to see it in action. <laughs> Check it out. Problem is, I'm sure Snorpy made... Check it out. Problem is, I'm sure I could snorpy mate. my balls back that grapple thing is awesome I bet it can grab all kinds of stuff Snorpy's a genius bro check it out there's a cine snail right over there I know it looks like a sticky dump truck full of cars but it's actually a master climber even I can't keep up with it I always wanted to climb like that hey see if you can catch me that cine snail bro Always wanted to climb.
dog! Bubbles fail. I always wanted... Yeah, I feel stronger already. Watch me vert climb right out of here. Race you back to the cabin. Nice, you made it! You got back pretty fast for a newbie. Me, I got the same time I always get. I guess one bug snack isn't enough to push my limits. There's gotta be more cine snails around this mountain, dog! <laughs> Help Chandlo, then...
Pop, 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 pop. Popsicle!
Them sinner snails into my mouth, hoop dog. about. I can't wait to check my gains. But before that, I got a situation. Honeybees flew off with my backup balls. Now my balls are up in the sky. No matter how shredded I get, I can't fly. Believe me, I've tried. You gotta be my wings, dog. Master that grabber. Catch me those honeybees. Blast me with them honeybees, dog! Honeybees? <laughs> Whoa! Honeybees? Hi. Yeah! Oh, grump! My body's tingling! I think that's the... Power. Bro, you really did me a solid. If you want me back in town, I'll be there. But I ain't going anywhere without my main dog, Snorpy. He'd be lost without me. I can't get Snorpy to leave, though. Whatever's keeping him here, he doesn't want to talk to me about it. He says it's a secret project. But I got a feeling he'll talk to you. <laughs> Can't get Snorpy to whatever's keeping him here, but I gotta. F I've known Chandlow for ages. He does what he says and says what he thinks. In this mad, mad world, he is uncomplicated, reliable, and surprisingly gentle. Ah, yes. I wish I could tell Chandlow everything, but knowing the truth would only put him in more danger. Anyway, you have my thanks for helping him. Perhaps I can trust you after all. I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. Here, new chum, lean in close so that I may bestow a hug on you. Ah. Ah, what an excellent hugging experience that was. We shall have to do that many more times. Now, I need your help. Are you willing to risk your life for the greater good? Splendid! There is another device you will need. I've hidden it inside the Bugwatch Tower. Once you have it, I will tell you more. Ugh, one of those flying bug snacks has set off the tower's alarm system again. Although you seem to have avoided being trapped inside. Clever. All right, return to me for the next phase of the plan. Ah, chum, I have such a craving for cookies. Why, my craving is so terrible that I would like my teeth to be quookies, so that I may taste my own teeth, you see. <laughs> ah, chum, I have such a craving. Why, my craving... Quookie. <laughs> <Cookie>. Ah. <laughs> Splendid! I no longer have to worry about psychotronic torture or cavities. But now I hunger for charmallows. Can't ever have enough charmallows. <laughs> but now I hunger for... <laughs> Splendid! 
Snorpy's my tightest bro, you feel me? I can't get Snorp... whatever, but I gotta... Hey, hey! Oh, yeah!
He has a journey. Hi.
sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. the sandalpede and I'm sure to <sighs> doing good oh not too bad actually would you mind helping me out here I dug up this journal out in the canyon it's um, a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks I want to follow in the writer's footsteps so uh, if it's not too much trouble would you want to go exploring with me? Oh, you're too kind. The first place of note is in Flavor Falls. Meet me there whenever's good for you. Alrighty, what we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Let's look around. Oh, <laughs> 
would be the work of the ancient stone grumps, a civilization from over 5,000 years ago. All that's left of them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, the writer thinks they would sacrifice them to the bug snacks, like an offering to the gods and whatnot. This means bug snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. All righty, what we're looking for is a big stone grump. Oh, that's a good one. You might have noticed pinkle statues scattered around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. Well, I was hoping to find a camp of some sort. Maybe a corpse or two. But oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. Let's head back to Snacksburg for now.
Hi! Feed me the sandalpede and I'm sure to have a hit. This seems excessive, but it's just, it's the, it's the creative process. Do you know how I wrote Do the Wiggle? I stumbled into the studio two hours late. I hadn't slept in five days, and I was holding a banjo for some reason. I couldn't remember my own name, much less what I was going to sing. So in my haze, I just made it up on the spot. Two weeks later, I had a platinum record and apparently I'd invented banjo pop. Needless to say, it's been a hard act to follow. <laughs> Darling, are you ready to help me top the charts? Triffany told me about a bug snack in the desert that only appears during the full moon. A creature in tune with the cosmos. Something that beautiful must also be significant, no? <laughs> Howdy.
Sometimes I wake up and I try calling. Bye. <sighs> Another fine day behind us.
quickly, feed me the Charmallows. <laughs> With that blind spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Hmm, this guy seems cleared of danger. I suppose it's now or never. Oh, Snorpy's ready to go? All right, dog, let's do this. In just a moment, Chandler. You've been an invaluable ally. I'm even tempted to call you a friend, but quietly so I'm not overheard. Bro, if I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can, I would hug the grump out of you. Oh, what the grump? Here it comes! What expert hugging that is. You do that hug. All right, let's get out of here. Race you back to town, Snorp Dog. Oh, please don't make me run with you, Chandlo. I'll go weak in the knees. If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. No, oh, no, that's quite all right. Your loss. See you back in Wait, town, bro. Chandlo. Check this out! Philbo told me you were living here, and I thought, you know what this place needs? Walls! It's my bad for not finishing it in the first place, though. I was gonna have it ready in time for you, but then all that stuff happened. But sooner or later, Chandlo gets the job done! Enjoy your walls, dog! Bilbo did a pretty good job keeping this place in good shape. Gotta give the little guy props. He could use a boost to his self-esteem. Chandlo out. Bro. Buddy.
my incredible aim. Just try not to hit Bilbo again. When you're finished with your amusements, come see me. We have work to do. Get out of here, Floofy. You're ruining my shot. What's wrong? Something off about that Grumpus. Floofy's not so bad. They're just passionate about science. Sure, science. I heard about their experiments, messing with your body. It's weird. What's weird about it? I mean, look at you. How many bug snacks have you had? Hey, in my professional medical opinion, I am perfectly healthy. We're all eating bug snacks and we're all fine. So why are you getting on my case? I'm just worried, Bill. You're not acting like yourself. You mean I'm not miserable. I found a way to make myself useful and happy to finally take some control over my life. And you're just upset because it doesn't involve you! I'm not upset. You don't need me anymore. That's great. Go be with Bluefy. Maybe I will! my feet into big bopsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. <clears throat> hubba hubba. Bopsicles! <clears throat> ah, yeah, 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 sweet relief. These things better not melt off. Anyway, a deal's a deal, friend. The bridge is yours. Some assembly required. Oh, and so you know, Crumdomart is not responsible for any loss or injury suffered as a result of the use of its products. Hey, if you need anything else, anything at all, please, please, please call your friend Crumdo. Oh, I'm already sweating. It's too hot, too hot. Oh, I don't like that. Every time I go home, I'm starting to... Have a good one! Befica, to what do I owe the honor? Oh, I'm just curious what you think you're doing here. What am I doing? I'm working the counter. Cromdomart's back in business, baby. Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's what I know. You're not better than me, Beth. Nobody likes all you snooping around. <laughs> I don't care what they think about me, as long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Don't I always? Are you gonna buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. Coming right up. Grandpa? 
Randall's so touchy because he never... Hey there, bestie. We've got a new target. Cromdo's back in town. I know that greedy crumbag has some juicy dirt. I'm not talking about his pathetic little lies or scams either. I'm sure you'll find something good. Don't let me down, bestie. <laughs> Friend, I haven't got a bad word to say about anybody here. Bunch of snacks sucking in grits. Friend, I haven't got a bad word. Yeah, take care. What's up, dog? Ooh. Gonna quiz me, dog? I'll crush your questions! <laughs> Chandlo Funk Bun, I lift. It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, Snorpy, I'll get them there. If I want to push my limits, I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place. And I gotta respect that. Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lisbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. But she was always pushing herself way harder. Yeah, she asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, because she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Bro, that's not... Just... Don't. Anyway, I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. But maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro. What's going on, dog? Hey, hey! Pub mm. Mm. Uh -huh.
greetings. The outdoors are dangerous, unpredictable, and smelly. Get me enough material and I'll make us a roof over this entire island. Are you mad? I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. But of course I do. But at the same time, I don't want them finding me. Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. I am Snorp Redacted Bean, and I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. Well, I, 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 I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. I was too exposed. Floofty tried to wrap me up in their experiments, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinotti's plot against me. Lizbert disappears. We are hit with an earthquake. We suffer a snack shortage. All that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wit, and chat redacted, blow an arm wrestling. We would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. Ha 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 ha! I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. <laughs> hey, this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island and came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. Doing good? I try to be nice to everybody, but sometimes that crom door just rattles my bones. I swear, he'd sell off his own grandma if that'd make him a few bucks. Bye-bye. Hey, pal! All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> Brrr, Business King, Sales Savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Crondo Face! You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. She came on TV talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead-end job and followed that stench of possibility. Ah, I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas, paid on commission for grump's sake. What do I think of 
delicious, irresistible, marketable. They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of Money Town, baby. Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. I was salvaging! That's a community service, pal! But Befica planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary, so I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader. But I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Eggabel her fix. The rest of us were just pfft, disposable. That's Elizabeth Megafig. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. Eh, I bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna get. Trash. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisbon after that. opportunity for you. I got a tip that Triffany found some sort of treasure map while she was digging around. They say it'll lead to a huge bug snack. Imagine what a snack that size is worth. I was thinking of taking that map off her paws. That's where you come in. Get me a bug snack so delicious that Triffany would die for it and we'll trade. Then we'll split the profits 50-50. I clearly said 50. <laughs> Ciao. Sup? Bro.
How you doing? What's going on, Wiggle? 